Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step a couple different techniques you can use to remove red eye from your photos. Let's begin by opening up GIMP. And it really doesn't matter what version you have, whether it's 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, or whatever, they create a new version. The process is pretty much going to be identical. I'm going to open up a file that has red eye. And I'm going to go to File, Recent Locations, and Red Eye. I'm going to show you two different strategies. Let's begin with strategy number one. First thing I want to do is I want to zoom in to the red eyes. And this is pretty good. Then I'm going to use my Ellipse Select tool, and I am going to select the affected areas. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do have to get the red eyes. I'm going to hold the shift button and now I'm going to go ahead and select the second eye. So now that both of these are selected, I'm going to go to filter, enhance, and red eye removal. What shows up is a box here and I can adjust the threshold of how much we need correcting this. For our purposes, I'm going to use about 86. I click OK. And when I zoom out to my 100% and deselect, you can see that it's pretty good. We've, we were able to remove the red eye from the photos. Now, this is OK, and it works for the most part. However, now I'm going to show you a second way of doing it that it actually I feel looks a little bit better. So now let's go ahead with strategy number two and I'm going to bring this back to where it was and I did that by selecting control Z and I did that several times so we have the red eye. Let's begin. We start off using the similar process. We're going to go ahead and use the zoom tool and zoom into the affected area. Let's get a little deeper. Perfect. Now I'm going to use the ellipse selection tool as we did previously. I'm going to select. Okay, great. Great. Perfect. And I'm going to try to focus more on this, more on the red area. Okay. Now the same process. I'm going to hold the shift button. And now I am going to highlight the second eye, which is red. And I am going to adjust. Let me do this again. Perfect. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to the color, hue saturation. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the saturation from the eye. Now you'll see it kind of change. And we're still not done yet, but we took out that redness. Then I am going to take out the lightness. And what this did is it actually made the eyes pretty dark, the pupils pretty dark. And when we zoom out again, and we can do that several ways. I like to hit Control minus. Uh, however, you can also click here and click on 100%. I'm going to click on Control D, and you can see that the red eyes were removed from the image. If you like these tutorials and you want to learn more on how to use GIMP, um, the website that we would recommend or I would recommend for you is the Learn GIMP Fast website and you can get there um, by typing in www.learngimpfast.com and what you have here is a website where uh, you're going to learn a lot of the different GIMP techniques and strategies um, they'll show you how to install it, getting started, the interface, the rectangle tool, font tool, align tools, blend tools, brush tools. I mean, you name it, everything uh, from top to bottom on how to learn the GIMP. At the time I'm looking at it now, it's about $29. They have like 34, 35 different tutorials uh, for 29 bucks. And even if you decide not to buy it, um, that's okay. Um, definitely make sure you sign up 
uh, for the free different tutorials that you'll be receiving and once in a while you'll receive different tutorials or different plugins and you'll learn a lot from it so whether you buy it or not make sure you go to the website and register for the free tutorials um, and if this is something serious that you want to learn I highly recommend picking up the entire package hope this was helpful and I will talk to you soon Bye.